Hey everyone, you know, Casey asked me to share some encouraging thoughts with you about how you can be a, a person of hope in these uncertain times. You know, I want to be clear about something. Alarm about an alarming situation is completely normal. You are not a bad person or a weak person if you feel alarm in this situation. But living in a state of sustained alarm is bad for you. Ironically, it makes you less able to deal with whatever it is that alarms you. So how do you live in an alarming situation like we're in right now without living in a state of sustained alarm all the time? It really is possible. I want to share with you what I've been learning from my friends who are dealing with cancer and other fatal diseases. When I ask them, how do you handle that sustained state of stress? They often tell me about three ways to keep a clear mind, even in their cases, in the face of their own possible deaths. And the first thing is one they always talk about, and this may surprise you, laughter. Check this out, Dr. Lee S. Burke, a preventative care specialist and psychoneuroimmunology researcher at Loma Linda University's School of Allied Health and Medicine and director of the Molecular Research Lab at SAHP. You know what all that means? That means he's way smarter than us. But for three decades, he's been studying the effects of laughter on the human body, and he has concluded laughter decreases stress hormones, enhances immune activity, lowers blood pressure, lowers bad cholesterol, and raises good cholesterol. So wherever you find it, maybe funny YouTube videos or some old sitcoms, make sure you work some laughter into your life. And then the second way to be clear-minded during times of stress is meditation. This simply means soaking in a truth, just focused on something that is beautiful and captivating. Check this out. A joint study from the UCSF Medical School and Harvard discovered that meditation reduces anxiety. Maybe that's no surprise for you, but it also improves cognitive ability, lowers inflammation, and even improves cell immunity, which we all want right now. So meditate. Now, what else clears your thinking? Exercise. Another team from Stanford studied the effects of walking and found that just 50 minutes of walking, that's all, improves creative thinking and cognitive ability. So, for the sake of your own clear thinking, develop regular times every day for laughter, meditation, and exercise so that you can be a person of hope to those around you, hopeful people is what we need right now. So go be clear-minded people of hope today.